Lips and really dry skin. So here to take us through on how to combat that and have supple yes. skin is the beautiful Dr. Tess Maurizio. You're a dermatologist with yes. fantastic shoes. I might know, I Kenny, add. Did you guys get that? <laughs> Look at that. Those are unbelievable. Watch out, Gaga. Right. So we're going to go Gaga over these tips now. Exactly. Where do we begin? Well, we want to rehydrate. And as you know, I know you're looking at that. Is that red wine? Yes. But <laughs> actually, we're all done with that. We need to bring the moisture back in. We want water. Water, water, water. So alcohol dehydrates. Yes, well. it really gets rid of fluids in your body. So actually, a lot of the signs of um, hangovers from dehydration. So to combat that, we need to really rehydrate. And then we it, down there is actually our humidifier. Um, as with cold weather and heaters, we really are getting rid of a lot of the moisture that's inside the building. And actually, singers like Celine Dion, they really make sure that the whole place, the concert hall, is humidified. And really? You probably notice that when you wake up, your throat and your nasal passages are dry. dry. So you can just imagine what that type of you know, dryness can do to your skin. So then we move on to cleansers. Obviously, we really want to move on to cream cleansers as opposed to bar soaps. And also really avoid um, cleansers that have benzoyl peroxide, glycolic acid. Any of those can really strip the skin from moisture. So really stick to cream cleanser. The only thing about it is that a lot of patients are used to foamy cleansers. Right. Feel like they're not clean. But really you are getting clean, you're getting rid of makeup, but you're also putting in moisture at the same time. What about those makeup remover cloths? Yes, they can help as long as they're not too abrasive. Okay. Because anything that's stripping the skin can be bad. However, we are going to talk about exfoliators because you do need to exfoliate, get rid of some of that dead skin so that your moisturizers can be absorbed better. And the tip for, for um, exfoliators is that the larger the bead, the more aggressive the exfoliating. So some actually have, they feel very sandy and gritty like the almond uh, exactly. shells or whatever it is. Those are not good. Well, they can be in some body areas, but on the face they may be too much. And if you are prone to rosacea, broken capillaries, and redness on your skin, you really want to minimize scrubs. And uh, during the winter season, Patients, uh, people with rosacea, eczema, they really have a tough time. So we really need to, you know, really put the moisture back in there. So a mild exfoliator to be used, is it once a week then? I would say once a week. And, you know, certain areas may need more. But anything more than that, you may be getting into trouble, especially in the wintertime and especially if you have eczema-prone skin. Okay. And then, of course, who doesn't want more radiant, even skin tone? This product right here is called Luminase, and it's my favorite skin brightener. Really? It's new to the market and it works through a patented natural enzyme that actually breaks down the pigment in brown spots, age spots, pregnancy mask, acne scars. It's wonderful and it really is safe and gentle for all skin types. It's a daily moisturizer? It's actually a lotion treatment that you put on your skin twice a day after you've cleansed and then it really brightens the skin. It evens your skin tone. And, and you are glowing. Oh, she's thank glowing. you. <laughs> Whatever she's doing is working. Right. That's my favorite product. And how much water are we drinking a day? Is oh, it I would say definitely your eight, eight you know, glasses a day. But you really, depending on if you're on medications that cause dehydration or diuretics or if you're working out. Or if you drink a lot of coffee and tea, mm -hmm. you got to, and alcohol. Up your water mm -hmm. intake. Up your water intake. And then we're moving on to moisturizers. Okay, after you cleanse, after you put on your luminase, you want to put on moisturizer. In the winter time, you really want to do, instead of lotion, you want cream. 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 Because cream, and there's actually, we have two different types. You have lotion, and you can try a little yeah. bit. Thank you. Well, we do lotions, this, I'll give you the contact info. Are, yeah, exactly. Lotions are great. If you live in Florida with a lot of humidity, not in Toronto, mm. you really want to stick to creams because creams will actually keep the moisture locked in and sealed. I feel better already. Thank you so much, Dr. All right, and don't forget sunscreen. Sunscreen, too. Luminase.com. She needs her own show. Time. We're out of time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Over to Jennifer at Live. I hate Jen. She's taking care of the Outward Beauty as well. Right, exactly. <laughs> Outward Beauty and Inward Beauty. We are dancing up a storm here at Glamagal in Ajax. Two locations, one in Vaughn as well. Okay, Josie, 
You're leading the crowd. What are we going to be doing? We are going to do the Selena Gomez girl. What is that? Oh. Selena Gomez oh. is holding 